Finding the volume of pyramids, rectangular and triangular. This is a sequel to the volume of prisms video. Remember that volume is the capacity of a 3D shape. Here are two pyramids named because of their base, the rectangular square pyramid and the triangular pyramid. Let's first look at the rectangular pyramid by relating it to the rectangular prism. The volume formula for the prism was big B times H. Looking at the rectangular pyramid, we're going to fill it up with water, and then we're going to dump it into the rectangular prism. You'll notice the capacity is much less, but the base and the height are exactly the same. By the third pour, the pyramid will fill the prism completely up. So it takes three pyramids to fill one prism. That makes the volume of a pyramid formula V equals one-third big B times H directly related to the prism, but one-third. So let's talk about the parts. First, when you have a pyramid, you have the peak, where all of the sides meet. Then you have the base. Of course, having big B in the formula, the base becomes a very important part of the shape. Then you have the height, which is actually located in the middle, because you can't use any of the slanted sides. But again, let's go back to the most important part, and that is talking about the area of the base. In this case, the base is a rectangle, so we know that to find the area, it's V times H. You may also use length times width. So if we use the formula that we've identified, which is one-third of big B, area of the base, times the height of the shape, we can break it down and find each piece. Of course, we need to identify that base. You can't find the area unless you know what you're looking at. We have the rectangle, remembering that rectangle is that side times side, length times width, or base times height. In this case, it's 4 times 4, so the area of the base is 16. Then we look for that height, which is located from the peak to the bottom. It's in the middle, not on the sides, and that is the height or how tall the 3D shape is. In this case, the height is 3. So now that we have all of our numbers, we can fill it into the formula. Volume equals one-third of big B, which is 16, times the height, which is 3. Next, we're going to go ahead and find what's inside the parentheses. So we need to do 16 times 3 because order of operations says parentheses first. So 16 times 3 would give me 48. One-third of 48 is just dividing it by 3. So the volume equals 16 units cubed. Now let's look at the triangular prism and the triangular pyramid. We're going to have the same kind of idea here where we're going to take the water in the pyramid and pour it into the prism. Remember, they have the same height and their bases are the same, but the capacity is different. On that third four, perfect fit. So the pyramid formula stays the same. Volume equals one-third big B times H. The only difference in this pyramid is the base. Now you are looking at a triangle. The area formula for a triangle is different. It's one half base times height. Remember that the triangle is half of the rectangle. Make sure you identify the difference between the height of the triangle base and the height of the 3D shape. So let's give it a try. Volume equals one-third big B times H. Remembering our most important part is that big B. So let's go ahead and look at the base. Oh, the base is a triangle. What is that formula? one-half BH. Now we need to find or identify that B and that H of the triangle, the base being at the bottom and the height being located in the middle if it's not a right triangle because you cannot use the slanted sides. So what is half of 12? 6. Now find the height of the shape. Remember that it goes from the peak to the bottom. It is not part of any of the slanted sides even though in this case there's only three. It's in the middle. The shape has a height of 5, so we get 1 third of 30. Remember, 30 divided by 3, that gives us 10 units cubed. You can find all of these formulas on your chart. Please pause to look closer if you would like. I wanted to show you that even though you can find the volume formula, you may want to replace big B with the area formula for the identified base. Remember that the volume of a pyramid is V equals one-third big B times H, where the rectangular has a formula of BH for area and a triangle has a formula of one-half BH.